Hello, my name is Adrian Varga, and I'm a PTCU instructor, and I also teach uh, ThingWorks courses. ThingWorks orchestrates data from multiple sources to showcase in a web-based interface, which can be used for monitoring, controlling, and automating smart connected products. In one of the courses I teach, Fundamentals of Deployment, we showcase how to take a ThingWorks application for its entire life cycle, which is exporting it from the uh, development process and migrating it into the production environment. We'll also go through some of the best practices that you can apply. Now, let's look at an example of a cold storage facilities monitoring application. This cold storage facility has invested in an IT system and we're going to create a monitoring web-based portal that monitors cooling failures, voltage fluctuation, temperature, humidity, and leakage to prevent inventory loss. In this example, we will be uh, using simulated data, but in the real world, we would get this data from real sensors. The idea of this example and course is to let you build an application, test out sensor data connectivity, and also look at script logs for any issues. We will learn how to monitor and bind these remote devices, and finally, how to access and analyze historical data. While we're going into details on how to build all this in the actual course, let's quickly explore the finished monitoring portal so you can get an idea of what's possible using ThingWorks. As you can see here, you have some gauges representing numerical values indicating temperature and humidity. And below, you have Boolean values for leakage and voltage fluctuation, where colors indicate if something is working fine or if there's any failure. To find out, how you can create such monitoring portals and more, join me in one of my classrooms.